Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we're going to be looking at a very common requirement where we dynamically going to write Power Query function that cleans up dirty column headers. Give you an example. Let's say we have this data set over here. We've got these column headers. And you can see that there's some trailing white space in the company name. And this one, even between the letters, you have some trailing white spaces and white spaces in between. And it's not consistent. So the reporting system, this is a web scraper that spits out this data set of the NASDAQ 100, basically inconsistently gives me column headers. And I want to write a function that cleans it up. How do we do that? First of all, let's pull it into Power Query. All right, so now we're sitting with this original here. I am just going to make a duplicate of this. And I'm going to call this column cleaning function. Yeah, OK, that's the thing. I'm just going to take that step off there. All right, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you what happens if you manually change this. So let's take symbol, for instance. If I click there, I press F2. Let's say symbol. This is renaming. F2 is for renaming. And let's say company. I can just double click and say company. This renames it. And you can see the syntax it uses. It uses table.rename columns, which takes a table as an input and has a list with the from and to values for each column that you change. So what we want to achieve is I'm just going to quickly show you what this means. If we take that, if I open a new blank query, and I paste that in there, you can see that we have a list of lists. So each one of these items rep uh, represent the original column name, the old one, and then the new one it should be renamed to. So our aim is to reach a list. Um, our function should basically create a list of the old column, the new column name, and then we need to pass it through to the table rename columns function. All right, how do we do that? So I'm just going to take this, you know, let's keep it there. So first thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to take away that rename columns. I am now going to say transform and use headers as first row. That's going to demote the column headers. Wonderful, wonderful. Next thing that I'm going to do, so now you actually know that that's actually part of the very first data set there. I'm going to not do the change type. I want to convert this very first row into a record. How do we do that? I've showed you guys before how records work. Each row in this data set is a record. OK, so this is record zero. This is record one, two, three. You can see if I press there, if I press one, it shows me all the records. This is actually record zero. So what I need to do, if I want to refer to record zero, I just curly brackets say zero. This will give me record zero. If I did record one, it would give me record one. But I want record zero because that's where the column headers are at. All right, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this record. I can just click on convert into table. But what I want to show you is how to do it. We can say record to table. We're going to convert this to a table, which basically means now we got that record is converted. That very first line is converted to a table. And I'm just going to rename this to dirty, dirty column name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column. We're going to call this the clean column name. And in here, I'm going to use all my functions to clean this data set up. So the first thing I know, I'm going to use text.trim to trim out the dirty column name. All right, so this will give uh, trims out all those white spaces. The next one I want to do is I want to, let's say I want to convert it all to upper. I'm going to make it all uppercase. Yes. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to strip out or remove all of those spaces in between the letters. So what I want to do is I want to say text dot remove. What do I want to remove? I want to remove any space. Yeah. And this is now our clean column name. You see, so that's basically a clean. We, we take the old column name. 31 and we push it through our um, adder comms that basically just does the cleanup for us. Let's just call this the cleaned columns. That's wonderful. So now we wanted to create this, this pair over here. If we look back 
what the old column is, a list of lists, what the old column is and what the new column is as a list. So what we can do here is we can add a new column, say add a custom column. Let's call this a uh, list, dirty clean list. Okay, so what we're going to do is curly brackets because I want to create a list. And I'm going to say take the dirty column and then comma the clean column. What this is going to do is going to create a list column. So here we have that pair. So you can see where symbol is now old value to new value. All right. What I'm going to do next is I want to only have this table. So I'm going to say square bracket and I'm just going to give it the name of this last step, which is dirty clean list. I'm just going to put it in there. And that's going to give me just the hardcore list. It's going to convert this whole query into a list query. Pretty cool. And now you have your value pairs of your old column name and your new cleaned column name. It's a dirty to clean column names. The next step is a bit more advanced because now we're going to use this as the basis for our function. I'm just going to rename this last step. We're going to call this the list of lists just to give it a name. So we know that last step is called list of lists. So let's open the advanced editor. So now you can see the query. What we want to do is we want to feed all of that in. So this list of lists, this pair into this table rename columns function, because the first thing we need to give is we need to give it a table and then we want to give it the list of lists that the dirty value to the clean value. So what do we do here? We're going to now do some variables. Okay, so first of all, we need to read a table in as a variable. So we're going to say dirty table as an input, as a table. All right. And we want to return it as a table. And the syntax for mQuery is a little arrow like that to start a query. And we want to take this dirty table and stick it in. We want to take this hard coded Excel workbook over here and take that out. Because essentially this code produces that list of lists. Yeah. Right. So our function, what we want to do is we want to create the cleaned. I'm just going to give it a very number cleaned column names. We're going to use table dot rename columns. And you can see the first argument there if we look back is the table. So we need to first give it this dirty table as an input. Yes. Okay. And then we need to feed this query the results of this list of list into there. So let's give this query a name. So let's call this the cleaning list of lists. I'm going to say equal. So this is basically encapsulated as one thing. All right. So I want to let this, I want to feed it that list of lists there because this will give me the old, the dirty and the clean. But you can see there's still some syntax error here. This is now essentially an inner query and this is now the outer query. So what we need to do is we need to also, I'm going to quickly indent this. We need to wrap it into outer query. We need to say let. Yes. Okay. And we're going to end this with a comma. Yeah. And then we're going to end this one. We're going to say in. And we're going to end it with clean column names. So now what we have here is we have a inner query that basically creates a list of the dirty value to the clean value. And then we feed that and the table coming in into the table rename. So let's take that out. Rename columns, the dirty table, and then it's list of lists. And then it's going to come out with a clean list of names. So let's say done. So now we got a nice function set up. I'm going to send it. You see this original table with the symbols and all of that stuff. I'm going to send it that table as an input, right? And I'm going to invoke it. And you can see now all those columns are nicely cleaned. 
but let me also take another I want to show you it's not hard coded only for this one data set let's say we have this ratings data set over here and I want to push you can see this rating data set is also quite dirty so what I want to do is I want to push this data set it's completely a different data set through that same um, column cleaning function how do we do that I'm just going to pull this into power query it's a rating statement we can see it's dirty I am now going to invoke, so I'm take that function and I invoke it with this rating table and I say invoke and back as bring it back and you can see this rating table is also now completely clean so it basically went from see country and S&P and spaces in between now if you look at the ratings clean ratings it's completely clean so you can basically push any table through there and will apply your column fixes that's pretty cool hope this video helped you it really helped me a lot and yeah be a sensei out